Hey guys, welcome to the second part of building our vertical app. In this tutorial, we're going to initiate the host or the virtual machine that we built in, this, in the last uh, tutorial. And we're going to configure everything we need to configure into it so we can run vertical database on a single node cluster. We're going to go and do it step by step. So as you can see, we already have it installed it, and it's up and running. First, what I'm going to show you guys is how we can stop the machine without actually stopping it, without shutting it down is pretty much we save the state. This is this is useful because you can st stop it, take a take a snapshot of it, let's say at that point in time, and then we can start it with ease. As you can see, it takes literally five seconds to start it, and the machine is back online. So this is a useful tool for you guys. Now let's jump into my. Uh, Let's jump into my uh, terminal, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take the IP from this machine, and I'm gonna try to connect to the command line because it's much easier for me to to work with. So just type in the as you guys can see, I use mobile Xterm. It's a it's the free version. It's not professional, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. It's really it's really easy to use, handy, and you can save your sessions. Uh, so, okay, so the IP of the VM it's uh, one nine two one six eight fifteen one zero one, and login as the root user. Okay, apparently we're having some issues here. Let's see what happens. Oh yes. I type in the wrong address so yeah I'm getting a timeout all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna click right on it and edit the connection this is another nice tool so we're gonna re-edit the um, the IP and we're gonna execute the connection and there we go we're connected we just need to punch in the password that's it boys we're connected using a terminal um, GUI from my local host in, inside my VM there you go we're not gonna use this window anymore so we're gonna shut it down now we're gonna start and uh, as you can see here I'm gonna I'm gonna download a repository so I can install all my tools from it since this is CentOS I'm gonna I'm gonna first install the um, htop I really I use a lot htop to look at my memory usage uh, CPU usage users and all other stuff it's really useful and handy for Linux administrators so I suggest that you guys get on it and learn how to use it because it's really handy there you go htop it's installed much better than top all right you but you guys have to agree with me next what we're gonna do we're gonna install all the packages required by vertica as you guys can see ssh MC log sysdat rsync telnet and uh, all right I just jumped into it because it takes a long time I managed to finish the install I'm gonna put all the I'm gonna put all the scripts I'm gonna put all the scripts for the installation in the description of the video so you guys don't worry now we're gonna jump in uh, create us uh, SSH key change the you have to change the privileges on top of the ss.ssh folder that's created inside the your home directory we're gonna disable C Linux otherwise Vertica is gonna complain about it when we're gonna install the the database and we're gonna make it disable since it's a lab we don't have to worry about it all right 
Next, what we need to do is uh, install the Vertica RPM. But before that, we're gonna make sure that the SSH service will be on and we'll using the chk config command, we're gonna tell it to to be available startup as well as NTP daemon and we're gonna start it all right what we're gonna do next and finally we're gonna install the Vertica software on our servers you guys can see there's a dialog package missing the dialog package was introduced in the latest version this is used for getting dialog boxes in the in the, uh, in the shell language and in scripts so this might take some time all right found it it's installed great now we can install our database software we're going to install the database software. Vertica is pretty light, it's pretty fast to, to install. It's about, I think, 150 megs right now. And it's growing in size, but that's not a big deal compared to other databases like Oracle, SQL Server that comes uh, types of gigabytes. But of course, they are more complex, they have more packages and all this fancy stuff. Vertica is not fancy and uh, it's, just, it's just fast. <laughs> all right. Now we're gonna install the database cluster. We already installed the software. Now we're gonna run the command to install the vertical cluster on a single node. As you guys can see, I'm putting to host the IP of the host that I'm on. Uh, we're getting some uh, we're getting some uh, error messages, but we're gonna we're gonna pass them on because that's not the purpose of this uh, lab. We're gonna go through this type of um, uh, tutorials where we can fix what we can fix in this type of errors and hints and what's the what's the benefit of it but uh, for this tutorial we are, we're not going to go through that I'm just going to install a new uh, uh, package called MC log which apparently hasn't haven't been installed at the initial stage all right so now we're going to run the vertica installation command as you guys can see i'm pointing to the rpm location and telling it uh, the db user i mean is going to be the db admin and uh, whatever failure is going to happen just tell him to pass it and complete the installation all right installation is going on This might take some time, maybe a couple of minutes. There you go, we're getting those errors, but no matter what, we the installation is going forward. So that's it. Vertica cluster on a single node, it's installed. All we need to do is jump into switch to, to DB admin user and create our database. So, all right, opening the admin tools, just pass this page and just say okay because it's, uh, it's gonna be a community edition and as you can see no database go to configuration menu create database and choose a name for it in this case it's gonna be test db and obviously the password is gonna be test db test db the only ip address we have it and we're gonna choose the default location for catalog uh, it tells you that in case you have a single node you lose case safety which is obvious because we only have one single node so the database is going to start it's pretty fast for a single node and remember we're running on top of a really simple machine that's not even close to a database server but uh, anyway and there you go database is up now he's installing all the other packages and all the visits up and running boys now exit let's try to log in oops we have a problem 
Houston, we have a problem. All right, so what this might be? No matter what, we're gonna we're gonna troubleshoot this error. But first, let's see if we can connect to the database. So you using the vSQL and H option, you can point to the you can point to the host of the machine. There you go. Minus H IP of the IP of the machine. Login pack in your password and voila. Database it's up and running. As you can see, we can check the table called databases where it has the name of the database, owner ID, one startup time. Very good. As I thought, so the local ho the host name is still local host, local domain. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna change the host name using uh, altering the, fi the file, uh, altering the parameter for the uh, host name parameter. Oops, I cannot save it. Of course not, because. I'm trying to alter it as user db admin. We got to log off and login login is changed to then change to root user and edit again the network file and place in place in the, the host name. Save and exit for this to hit for this to become um, available, we have to reboot the machine. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shut down the machine. Reboot actually. Something is wrong with my mouse. I don't know what's going on to the pointer, but it's, it's going crazy. All right, log out. Look at this, look at this crap. <laughs> Calm down, boy. I know what, I'm just gonna shut it down using the X button. Yeah, that's it. Thank you and good night. Let's go back to our virtualizer and uh, start it again. There you go. It started pretty fast. Hopefully our database wasn't lost because we shut down the host without shutting the database clean. But no issue. I don't think that will be a problem. We just got kicked out of the terminal and uh, there you go. The host name already changed to vnode. Just press error. And he's gonna reconnect. There you go, host name. As I told you guys, it's already changed. Switch to DB admin, admin tools, and start up your database. Start the database, punch in your password. And let's wait for the database to start. This is a small database just created catalog. It's almost zero. It's it starts pretty fast. When you have a big database with a lot of nodes, starting and stopping a database, it's pain in the butt because the catalog is really. There you go. After we change the host configuration file, we managed to log in without pointing to any host. To any specific host. All right, database is installed. I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, with the small bumps. And um, in the next tutorial, we're gonna go through a simple administration task how we can take care of the database. And uh, from there on, if you guys have any tutorial requests, feel free to send and drop messages. Take care.